Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock Holmes, 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 It was a bright morning in London. Sherlock Holmes sat in his favorite chair at 221B Baker Street, reading a book. Dr. John Watson, his friend and companion, was busy writing in his notebook. Watson, said Holmes suddenly, what do you think about art? Watson looked up from his writing. Art? Mm, I think it is beautiful. Why do you ask? I just received a letter from Mr. Charles Worthington, Holmes replied. He is a famous painter and art collector. He says that a valuable painting has been stolen from his gallery. Oh no! exclaimed Watson. What painting was stolen? It is called the Blue Lady, said Holmes. It is a beautiful painting of a woman in a blue dress. Mr. Worthington wants us to help find it. Watson smiled. I would love to help. When do we go? Right now, said Holmes, standing up. He grabbed his hat and coat, and they left Baker Street together. The two friends took a carriage to Mr. Worthington's gallery. When they arrived, they saw many people outside the building. The police were there, and reporters were taking notes. Mr. Worthington is inside, said the police officer. You can go in. Holmes and Watson walked into the gallery. Inside, they found Mr. Worthington pacing back and forth, looking worried. Mr. Holmes, Dr. Watson, thank you for coming, he said when he saw them. I need your help. Tell us what happened. Holmes said calmly. Mr. Worthington took a deep breath. Last night, I closed the gallery at 10 p.m. The painting was safe on the wall. This morning, when I opened the gallery, the blue lady was gone. Did you see anyone suspicious last night? Asked Watson. No, I did not. Mr. Worthington replied. But I heard strange noises around midnight. Strange noises? Holmes asked with interest. Yes, Mr. Worthington said. Like someone was moving around the gallery. Holmes nodded and looked around the gallery. There were many paintings on the walls, but he focused on the empty space where the blue lady had hung. Did you check the locks on the doors? Holmes asked. Yes, they were locked when I arrived this morning, Mr. Worthington answered. 
Holmes walked to the window and examined it closely. This window is open, he said. Was it open when he closed the gallery? No, it was closed, Mr. Worthington replied, looking worried. Interesting, Holmes murmured. He turned to Watson. Let's ask the police about the strange noises. They walked outside to speak with the police officer in charge. Did anyone hear noises last night? Holmes asked. Yes, the officer said, scratching his head. A few neighbors reported hearing sounds around midnight, but we couldn't find anything unusual. Holmes thought for a moment. Did anyone see anyone near the gallery? The officer shook his head. No one saw anything. Thank you, Holmes said politely. As I walked back into the gallery, Watson asked, What do you think happened, Holmes? I believe someone entered through this window, Holmes replied, pointing to it again. They stole the painting while Mr. Worthington was asleep. But how did they get away without being seen? Watson wondered. Holmes smiled slightly. That is what we need to find out. They decided to search the area around the gallery for clues. They walked down the street and noticed a small alley next to the gallery. Let's check this alley. Holmes suggested. As they entered the alley, they found some footprints in the mud. Holmes knelt down to examine them closely. These footprints are fresh, he said. They lead away from the gallery. Do you think they belong to the thief? Watson asked. Yes, but we need to follow them, Holmes replied. They followed the footprints down the alley and onto another street. The footprints led to a small door at the back of a shop. This could be important, said Watson. Holmes knocked on the door gently. A man opened it and looked surprised to see them. Hello, can I help you? He asked. We are investigating a stolen painting, Holmes said directly. Did you see anyone suspicious near your shop last night? The man thought for a moment. Yes, around midnight, I saw a shadowy figure near the gallery. A shadowy figure? Watson asked eagerly. What did they look like? I couldn't see clearly, the man replied. But I heard them mumbling something about the blue lady. Holmes exchanged a glance with Watson, excitement in his eyes. Thank you for your help. You may have just given us an important clue. They left the shop and returned to the gallery to talk to Mr. Worthington again. 
Mr. Worthington, Holmes began. We believe that someone was watching your gallery before stealing the blue lady. What do you mean? Mr. Worthington asked, looking confused. We learned that someone was near your gallery around midnight, Holmes explained. They mentioned something about your painting. Mr. Worthington looked worried again. Do you think they knew about my painting? It is possible, said Holmes thoughtfully. We need to find out who this person is, Watson added. Holmes nodded in agreement. Let's visit some of your neighbors and ask if they saw anything else unusual last night. They spent the next few hours talking to people in the area, but no one had seen anything more helpful than what they already knew. As they returned to the gallery, Watson sighed. <sighs> it seems we are at a dead end. Not yet, said Holmes confidently as I entered the gallery again. He stopped suddenly and looked at a nearby painting. A portrait of a man with dark hair and sharp features. Watson, look at that painting, Holmes exclaimed. What about it? Watson asked. Puzzle. Do you see that man? He looks like someone who could be involved in this case. Holmes pointed excitedly. Are you sure? Watson questioned. I believe he may be connected to the blue lady, said Holmes as he studied the painting closely. Mr. Worthington walked over to them and looked at the painting too. That man is Lord Blackwood. He said with a frown, he is known for collecting rare art. Perhaps we should speak with him, suggested Watson. Yes, let's pay him a visit, Holmes agreed. They took another carriage to Lord Blackwood's mansion, which was grand and impressive. Servant answered the door and led them to Lord Blackwood's study. When they entered, Lord Blackwood looked up from his desk with surprise. Mr. Holmes, Dr. Watson, what brings you here? He asked politely. We are investigating the theft of the blue lady, Holmes explained directly. Lord Blackwood's eyes winded slightly. Oh dear, that is terrible news. Do you know anything about it? Watson asked curiously. I do not. Lord Blackwood replied quickly, but there was something in his voice that made Holmes suspicious. Holmes studied him carefully before asking, Where were you last night around midnight? I was at home, of course, Lord Blackwood said smoothly. But his eyes shifted nervously. Holmes raised an eyebrow. Is there anyone who can confirm that? 
Lord Blackwood hesitated for a moment before saying, My butler can confirm it. Holmes nodded slowly, but did not seem convinced. Thank you for your time, Lord Blackwood, he said finally as they prepared to leave. Once outside, Watson whispered to Holmes, Do you think he knows more than he's saying? I believe so, said Holmes thoughtfully as they walked back towards their carriage. Later that evening, as they discussed their findings at Baker Street, Watson asked, What do we do next? We must keep an eye on Lord Blackwood, Holmes replied with determination. I suspect he may be involved in this theft. The next day, they decided to watch Lord Blackwood's mansion from a distance. They waited patiently until evening when they saw Lord Blackwood leaving his house with a large bag. There he goes, Watson whispered excitedly. They followed him through the streets of London, until he stopped at an old warehouse near the river. What is he doing here? Watson wondered aloud. Holmes led them closer to listen through a crack in the door of the warehouse. Inside, they heard voices talking excitedly. I can't believe we got away with it, one voice said. Soon we will sell the blue lady for a fortune, another voice replied. Holmes turned to Watson with wide eyes. They're planning to sell the painting. We must act quickly, Watson said urgently. Holmes nodded and pushed open the door quietly as they entered the warehouse together. Inside they saw Lord Blackwood and two other men standing near a covered object on a table. Stop right there, Holmes shouted as he stepped forward with Watson beside him. The three men turned around in shock as they saw Holmes and Watson standing there. What do you want? Lord Blackwood demanded angrily. You're under arrest for stealing the blue lady, Holmes declared confidently. The two men tried to run away, but Watson quickly grabbed one while Holmes cut the other. With help from nearby police officers who had been following them, they were able to capture all three men and recover the blue lady. Later that evening, at Baker Street, Mr. Worthington arrived with great excitement. You found my painting, he exclaimed joyfully as he held the blue lady in his hands again. Yes, thanks to some careful observation and quick thinking, Holmes replied with a smile. Mr. Worthington thanked them both previously before leaving with his precious painting safe once more in his possession. As Watson sat down beside Holmes once more, he grinned widely and said, another successful case solved. Holmes chuckled softly and replied, indeed, and all thanks to keen observation and teamwork. 
With that thought in mind, they settled back into their chairs at 221 B Baker Street, ready for whatever adventure awaited them next. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the story. Here are some difficult words from the story, along with their explanations. 1. Exclaimed To cry out suddenly in surprise or a strange emotion. In the story, Watson exclaimed in shock when he learned about the stolen painting. 2. Valuable Worth a lot of money or important in some way. The painting is described as valuable because it has significant worth. 3. Pacing Walking back and forth in a small area, often due to anxiety or deep thought. Mr. Worthington was pacing because he was worried about the stolen painting. 4. Suspicious Having a show in the cautious distrust of someone or something. Watson asked if Mr. Worthington saw anyone suspicious meaning someone who seemed like they might be involved in the theft. 5. Examined Looked at closely to understand or learn more about something. Holmes examined the window to find clues about how the thief might have entered. 6. Murmured Spoke softly or quietly, often in a way that is difficult to hear clearly. Holmes murmured his thoughts, indicating that he was thinking aloud. 7. Clues Pieces of evidence or information that help solve a problem or mystery. Holmes and Watson were searching for clues to find the stolen painting. 8. Footprints Marks left by someone's feet on a surface, which can indicate where they have walked. The footprints found in the alley were important evidence for Holmes and Watson. 9. Gently In a mild, soft or tender manner. Holmes knocked on the door gently, indicating he was being careful. 10. Surprised Feeling or showing shock or amazement The man who opened the door looked surprised to see Holmes and Watson. 